that we have put before the House. And if the House... Yes. I thank the Leader of the House for his generosity in giving way, and I would concur with the, the points made from the minority parties that it is important that the whole House can have the opportunity to be represented on this committee. I'm sure it's perhaps some kind of oversight or something that could be addressed, but the current reading of um, Order 3.1c says that in order to be nominated for the committee, no fewer than 10 of the nominees shall be members of the candidate's party. And I just wondered if the Leader of the House could uh, elaborate on how, therefore, it would be possible for members of the minority parties or indeed for independent members to be nominated. I'm sure the intention is not to exclude them, but as currently worded, it might need some uh, 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 perhaps flexibility on the part of the Speaker and how that is interpreted for nominations. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to the Honourable Lady for pointing out that there are indeed some restrictions which, unless the Honourable Member was minded to join a larger party for a day, might, um, <laughs> might preclude his, uh, his nomination uh, as, uh, as Chairman of the uh, Committee.